Why? Well, see that the dot is again lower. We limit our ambition again, and we have much more data and much more compute power available. If you listen to what is being told in the popular press, not the technical press, then the ambition seems like we will be even better than in the first case. We will build systems that are much more intelligent than humans. No. The ambition here is reduced to, and I'm cutting corners here, I know, to recognizing patterns in large data sets with the help of experts. We need the experts. OK, great for us. And we need big compute. This leads to real industrial applications. So that's why I'm saying third time, this will be the right time. Now we really see the thing really booming in reality, not just as hype. And how it works is a mechanism that is very normal to all engineers. We have a model of the system, we have inputs and outputs, and we have parameters for the model. But the great thing here is that we can build much more complicated models, and that by having lots of input data and labeled or unlabeled output data, we are able to train the parameters, to learn the parameters, and in some cases, even to learn the model for real, big, complex systems. Now, what we do in iMac, and what our ambition is, is of course we are working on all these device uh, technologies for memory and for uh, scale logic. And our ambition is to scale these technology elements, these devices, so we can find the right balance between algorithmic optimizations, efficient implementations in hardware. Uh, so this technology circuit, algorithm, and ultimately application co-optimization is what we will uh, explore and use to unlock that space of uh, what really call the extreme edge so we can add intelligence in devices which have to survive on a very, very small energy budget.